Hello, today I am going to discuss about quality of service. A stream of packet which is being transmitted from the source node to destination node is generally referred to as the flow. Now this flow is determined by various characteristics like reliability, delay, jitter and bandwidth. The ability of the network to flow the packets from source node to the destination node on the defined on the set of these four different parameters is known by the term of quality of service. Now, to understand quality of service in detail, let us move into the brief description of each of these topics. Reliability. This characteristic ensures that no packet is damaged or lost during the transmission and they are arrived at the destination node in a correct sequence. That means through reliability, we are ensuring that the flow and error control are maintained for the packets which are being delivered. If the flow does not attain the reliability, then retransmission is needed to be done because while a packet is collided in the midway between source and destination and has not reached the receiver's end, it is of no use. So for making it available on the receiver's end, it is needed to be retransmitted. Now, there are various applications on which reliability is a most important factor, like electronic mail, file transfer, and internet access. While there are few other applications like telephony or audio conferencing, where the application program demands not so much on the reliability factor. So, reliability is application dependent. Next, we come to the next factor that is delay. Now, the trans characteristic which slows down the flow of transmitted packets that are received by the destination node is known as delay. Like reliability, delay requirements also depend on the type of application used. Like when we are using telephony or audio conferencing or video conferencing, these are the real-time applications on which the delay, if there is a delay, then the, it will harm the applications. So we must ensure that there is no delay or even if there is it should be minimum as much as possible so as to ensure that these communications are perfect. While in the other cases like file transfer or email, delay is less dependent. Next, we come to the next factor that is jitter. The, this characteristic defines the variation in the delay of packets that correspond to the same flow. Here in the example, we have taken into consideration of the four different packets, which departs from the source node at times 0, 1, 2, 3, while arrive at the destination node in 20, 21, 22, and 23. That means in each of those four packets, there is a delay of 20 units of time, but if the packets arrive at 21, 23, 21, and 28 seconds respectively, there are different delays in each of those four packets. In the case of real-time applications, like, uh, like uh, the audio conferencing or video, this is completely acceptable while in the second case it is not. Therefore, high jitter 
difference between delay is large while in the case logical the variation is small next we come to the next characteristic that is bandwidth this characteristic defines the number of bits that can be delivered from source node to the destination node per second different applications have different bandwidth requirements for example in the case of email applications bandwidth consumption is very much less because there are number of bits that are transmitted is not so much while in the case of video or audio conferencing the number of bits that are transmitted per second is much more while in those cases this bandwidth is much more taken into consideration as it is utilized to the maximum extent next let us come into the general techniques so as to improve the quality of service now this quality of service can be improved by four common methods scheduling traffic setting admission control and resource reservation let us discuss each of these techniques in brief first of all we will be discussing about scheduling the technique schedules the arrival of packets from different flows so that the packets can be processed in an appropriate manner by the router or switch there are different types of scheduling techniques so as to improve the quality of service like fifo in this techniques the uh, it is based on the fast in fast out method that is queue is maintained by a router or a switch in which the packets wait for their turn to get processed each of the incoming packet is appended into the queue in the space that is in the queue the packet which enters the queue fast is processed fast if the queue is filled new packets are discarded until there is some free space in the queue this is the fifo queuing next in the case of priority queuing we will see the packets are assigned the priority class and a separate queue is maintained for each of the priority class the packets in the queue of the highest priority class is processed fast while the packets that are in the lowest priority class are processed after the highest priority queue is processed the demerit of this technique is that the low priority queue you will not be processed if there is a continuous flow of traffic onto the higher priority queue next the we come to the third queuing uh, scheduling technique that is the weighted fear queuing in this technique weights are assigned to each of the priority class that such that the higher priority queues are uh, get higher weight while the lower priority queues gets the lower weight the weight assigned to each of the queue indicates the number of packets that will be trust, uh, processed from the queue for example if there are three queues we can see each of the weights with the priorities 1 2 and 3 then the weights are assigned at 4 1 and 2 so initially four packets will be processed from q1 then one packet will be processed from q2 and finally three packets will be processed from q3 next we move on to the next type of technique to improve the qos that is traffic shaping this technique it is a technique that improve the qos by managing the amount of traffic flow which that is to be sent into the network this technique makes the traffic flow at a uniform data rate resulting in less congestion and therefore improvement in the quality of service the traffic flow is regulated by the monitoring of the stream and does not obey the policy 
if the packet in a stream does not obey the policy, then it is penalized either by discarding it or by assigning it into the lowest priority queue. Now, in the syllabus, we have two different types of traffic shipping techniques that is leaky bucket and the token bucket. So this will be discussed further.